So this is what started the entire issue to begin with, that I needed to take this all apart. The um, feed reverse clutch, the rod was damaged and needed to be replaced. I'm going to go grab that rod and I'll show you. Okay, let's get started putting this mill back together. Alright, I'm gonna go ahead and put in the pinion shaft right here. I've already lubricated the shaft with uh, some machine oil and I put some grease on the uh, on the pinion shaft here. I'm gonna go ahead and put it into the quill housing here. And this slides into bronze bushing which is still in place do not remove it so it's in place make sure it turns freely and then we have a set screw to put in all right two parts of the set screw we want us to lock it in place You haven't seen it a little closer, there is a little tiny, if I can hold on to it, a tiny portion of the set screw here, and that is to keep everything in place. Snug it down. One thing I did notice about when I took this apart um, a few weeks ago was everything in here was really, really tight. Um, maybe a little tight, more tighter than uh, maybe should have been. So, not going to go back quite as tight on everything. Alright. So, that set screw, what it did was really just locked in the brass bushing inside of the quill housing here, which I did not remove. That brass bushing is down in here. I did not take it out. Um, I really didn't see any reason to. Okay, this is the overload clutch ring, and it gets put in place next and um, is fastened in place with a um, external uh, retaining ring. Wow, my mind is not thinking very good today. All right, once you get the parts in here, just take our uh, lock ring pliers. Okay, so off camera, I took and put this back together. So this is what started the entire issue to begin with, that I needed to take this all apart. The um, <laughs> feed reverse clutch, the rod was damaged and it needed to be replaced. I'm going to go grab that rod and I'll show you. Here is the old rod and it needed to be replaced. It's in very, very poor condition. Uh, couldn't even get a get the thumb 
the thumb screw back into it anymore. So this needed to be replaced, and uh, we've done that. Took and replaced that. Got it all back together. It now works very nicely. So we're ready to put this back in. Going to go ahead and put our Teflon grease over these parts real nicely. And the reason I'm using the Teflon grease uh, is because I've got some question as to whether the oil in this mill is actually reaching these parts and I don't believe it is. At least not like it should. So I'm going ahead and putting some grease in it. I'm going to not overdo it, but I'm going to make sure it's got a pretty good amount of grease. And from the looks of, I'm not the first person to work on this mill. And from the looks of things, it looks like uh, the last person who worked on it came to the same conclusion because they also greased these same areas. Uh, they used a different kind of grease, so I'm not really sure what it was. Uh, I do know it was very nasty to try to clean up. Uh, stuff actually turned into uh, almost a solid. It's kind of green in color. Perhaps somebody might know what it was. I do not, however. The grease I'm using is Super Lube. Uh, it's a Teflon grease. Um, I like it. I do backflow preventers at work. I use the same grease on my backflow preventers. And uh, it's just an all around good grease. I mean, it, it really holds up very well to just about anything. Plus, it's food safe, which is why we use it on backflow preventers. Okay, this bushing has a countersink right here, which is meant to mate up with a locking set screw on the other side of the quill housing. So we want to make sure that matches up uh, like it's supposed to. Still, still lining up good. Is that it? How about that? There it is. That wasn't too bad. Alright, there is a, a set screw that goes in right here on the top. Kind of point away from the camera, and that locks in that bushing. It also has a locking set screw on it. goes in place as well. And we'll 
just snug it down. All right, next we're going to put together the cluster gears. Now looking at these cluster gears, I've noticed a problem. All right, working on the cluster gears here at the bottom of this cluster gear assembly here. You got a, a, a bushing, and I noticed some drag in there. So uh, what I've done is I've cleaned it out real good and uh, rolled it real nice, and um, it's feeling pretty good. Go ahead and put the snap ring back on it. That's that's a lot better. <clears throat> okay, let's go ahead and get this back together. Pretty good about yourself. Yeah. Okay. So got it in there. Now there's another set screw on the front here. Okay. Everything's where it's supposed to be. And this also gets a locking set screw above it. 